Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's episode, what I want to talk about are metrics. Specifically, how we can use them to measure our sexual performance. Because there are two facets of sexual performance, right? On one hand, sex is very objective, okay? On the other hand, sex is very subjective. So you gotta remember, you're dealing with these two parts of sex, which are both equally as important, but equally different. So now, when you're thinking about metrics, well, what gets measured gets improved. So when we look at the objective facets of sex, we're looking at things that are measurably improvable, okay? So number one, orgasms, right? Orgasms are extremely objective. They either happen or they don't. The woman has one or she doesn't, right? So the orgasm itself can be measured against your performance, right? Did you give her one? Did you give her two? Did you give her five, right? Where can you improve your performance? But you can look at it and you can objectively measure it, okay? Number two, hard-ons. Hard-ons are extremely objective, right? You either had one or you didn't, right? It got up, it did not get up, right? So in those situations, you can say, yes, no. Objectively, my dick was hard, it worked, okay? And then number three, how long you last in the bedroom, right? Because this is objectively measurable. Maybe this week you lasted 12 minutes, but last week you only lasted 10 minutes. So we've had a two minute increase in time. That is measurable, that's verifiable. You can say, yes, there has been improvement. Now, conversely, you have subjective parts to sex, okay? So number one, connection, right? You can say, well, I had connection with this woman, but I don't know, how did she feel about it? Maybe she felt, well, we didn't have so much of a connection. Maybe you thought, oh, I thought we had great connection. Again, it's very subjective to the individual. There's no real way to measure it. Number two, intimacy, right? Because you could feel like you were being really intimate with someone, but maybe that's not how they felt. So again, it's very subjective. There's no way that we can sit there and say, well, was this act of sex very intimate or was it not? Right? And number three, quality of sex. Because, for example, you might sleep with somebody and you think to yourself, oh my God, this is the best sex I've ever had. Well, somebody else could sleep with that same person and just think, meh, wasn't anything special, right? So quality, again, is something that is very individual and very subjective. There's no way to measure it. So when you look at objective and subjective parts of sex, both, remember, both are equally as important. I just want you guys to know that there are certain aspects that are very objective and measurable. And since we're trying to improve your sexual abilities, those are the things that we initially need to focus on. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, if any of you want to have a deeper experience of what I speak about, you can email me about my personal exclusive one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. And you can reach me at eric at ericeverhard.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, greatness is just a moment away.